So this video is the reason why Madara Khan left Niji Sanji. Let's check it out. Gotta be honest with you all. I Let's won't go through all of these on stream because they are okay. personal. And okay. I've already gone through all of them and cried. But I do still want to address this. Mods, <laughs> please ban Aki and, and Alanel forever. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this because it's important. But I also want to be mindful of the way I talk about this. Because I want people to understand what I'm saying. But okay. I'm not very eloquent at communicating my thoughts. So okay. let me explain. At Let's my meet and greet, Aki came... And Aki kind of spearheaded this project with the help of Alan on. And uh, this, this project is basically a scrapbook. A scrapbook of a lot of Momos. And some of the letters I haven't even opened yet. But it's basically a, a gigantic scrapbook. Oh my god, That's sorry. Adorable. Sorry, I'm like showing yours off, Dingo Momo. A Dr. Doggo, everybody. So you basically spearheaded That's this awesome. whole scrapbook project. That's so um, cool. And I really, really appreciate it. This one's from Dan. There's a bunch of them uh, from Strange 4, from everybody. There, there's a lot of them. And they are so sweet. And they are... Um, now. <laughs> um, I'm not going to read these on stream because I... Unless Russian you guys meme. want me to. But I do feel that, you know, they are pretty personal to me. And I enjoy the personalness of them. That being said, I still want to talk about this. Because this is something that is... Ah, that's Kuromi, the Yandere Waifu. I already know. Um, I don't think I've, I've opened this guy yet. No, I, this one I was keeping for stream. I don't want to break the envelope. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I have to focus. I want to talk about this. <laughs> um, and I, I'm getting really emotional just talking about this again. Uh, Aki, thank you so much for um, setting this all up. Thank you so much, Alan, all for the help. Thank you to everybody who's been involved. Please, I have to preface. If this is going to be taken out of context, please make sure that like it's fully the whole clip is there the the full explanation please try to keep an open mind to the full explanation of what i'm about to say okay Let's just please okay. please wait full for anybody under, who's a new fan point. who might not have followed me for a really long time before mm. joining me shojo i had left uh, a very big group um, and one of the main reasons for me leaving, I've talked about it before, blah, 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 blah. But basically, a lot of people can make their own assumptions and that's up to them. I am not here to, but a big part of it that I talked about, this was my biggest, my biggest, biggest, biggest everything was I felt like I would, could not grow a community within the environment that I was in. And one of okay. the main reasons for that was I felt that as soon as people kind of were open about being my fans, I mm. felt, and based off what I had seen, that yeah. other members, maybe they were not real fans of that community, but other members of that group, of that community, would then kind of attack people for being my fans. And the reason I'm saying this, source, I saw it on TikTok. When people would cosplay me, they would get um, a lot of negative comments. If people were defending me on clips of me, they would get bad comments about being fans of me, about how I'm problematic yeah. and you shouldn't be. She, she's talked about this before, man. So before Madara Khan was Madara Khan, uh, she was Nina Kosaka. And she got she got flamed because she would make jokes during like the collab streams. And some people would think she was going farther than she really was. So it made a lot of the, the Niji Sanji fan base not like her. And at the same time, they also started hating on the people that were enjoying her for her content and the people that enjoy the content as well. It was very sad, man. It's very cannibalistic. Like you guys are all in the same group. And obviously, if she said a joke that went too far, the other members would address it. You know, but they never did because it never was that serious. It's just people got too sensitive, which is understandable because that fan base, a lot of them are very sensitive. Be a fan of me, which again, now everyone's like, oh, wait, that, you know, she was just being her. We just didn't understand. So that was happening and I couldn't what up, talk about it. I was not allowed to address it because I was mm -hmm. in a group around other people and I was just not allowed to address it. Genuinely, okay. I do not think addressing it would have changed anything. Genuinely, I don't think it would have changed. So I felt okay. like I was never going to be able to grow my own little community. All I wanted was my own little space where I could thrive. My own little plot of land that I could harvest. My own little like farm that I could just go to every night and farm and have a good time with my momos. And I felt like I could never ever have that if I stayed. I okay. felt 
Like I was okay. always big, going to be one big. bad joke away from getting canceled forever. And, and you can tell me, hey, you're crazy. Yes. That's not- No, because a lot of her jokes, a lot of people thought they were more serious than they really true. were. That so this never is true, that would have never happened. This but is true. based off of everything that was happening, I felt that true. even when I kind of shifted into the good graces of the general audience, um, I was never fully accepted and I was never fully appreciated. So I was always kind of tolerated. I feel that. Um, which is I why I took the really, really, really hard decision to leave. Things were not bad, but I still left. Even though, mm. like, no, things were bad, but okay. I could handle them. <laughs> and I also knew that by me leaving, <laughs> I knew that me leaving meant that other people were going to get the hate that I was getting. Because typically, this is just from being online for so many years. If people bully one person and then that person disappears, their energy goes somewhere else. So I also understood that by me leaving, other people were then going to start getting bullied as well because like and, and just so we're who did, okay I, who, who did get bullied because i like when i you know joined the like niji sanji community slash vtuber community i mean from what i saw like i literally fell in love with the 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 niji sanji community not the community itself but like the the talents and then about a month later if even a month maybe like three weeks later you know, Nina was graduating and I was like, yo, wait, what? Why? And I never knew this other side because I had just joined in. But you... who who did it transfer to? Because I was still watching for a minute. But, you know, I, I'd be doing my own thing. You feel me? So I never really know. The word bully. Just honest. so we're clear. I mean, that the fandom was going to bully the streamers. Yes. Don't don't mistake this as any other thing that the fandom was going to basically take the energy that they had with me with other streamers in that space. That's basically I use the word bully, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. Good clarification, just in case. So people don't. Um, but yeah, it's just the fandom was going to take the energy that they gave to me to somebody else. I really had a hard time making that decisions because it sucks to leave and it sucks to leave a great group of lovely people. It's to leave a great everything. It's to leave lovely coworkers. You know, it really sucks. And I, the thing that kind of kept me take going- take care of yourself first. Was my, I had a pal in that place and okay. seeing her community and the pal, you know, stinky fairy. Seeing what her community <laughs> would do stinky for her. Stinky fairy. Um, their surprises for her, the memes, the gifts, the fan art. It yeah. made me feel I would like something like this. Okay. Wouldn't it be amazing if I also had community that was allowed to openly express their like for me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, I had yeah. a community. Just to be clear, I want to make sure that you all understand. I still had fans, but my mm. fans were just not allowed to be vocal about being my fans. Because the moment that my fans would kind of express that they were my fans other fans in that fandom would hit on them all the time all the time and i just remember seeing that and thinking i would love to have a community where people could just outwardly be like i'm a big fan of matara i think matara is awesome i i, I love matara's fan art and matara is amazing one of the greatest and, ever and i understand one of the greatest that ever I do it. a really great thing and i wasn't sure if it was going to work out um, before I, I think right as I debuted in Vishojo, this is also where it's going to be really tough the way I'm going to communicate. I'm sorry. I'm so emotional. Okay. When I first okay. debuted in Vishojo, obviously uh, I was very happy and everything yes. was great, but I yes. received a really big stack of letters. And uh, for a long time, when I was leaving, I felt really guilty to leave. I felt really guilty to leave because I felt like, am I being selfish to leave this group that I think need, need someone like me is a big word needing is a big word bro let's keep it 100 bro madara khan held etheria together just by her maturity alone the other three are fine right but madara slash nina kosaka was legitimately the mom not only of that group but was the mom of the whole ian branch right so yeah her leaving is a hundred percent something big and even if she doesn't want to acknowledge it i will acknowledge it for her Madara Khan, you are one of the greatest to ever do it. This is not a joke. This is like the real deal, Holy Field. I really do like you and you make great content and you are a wonderful person from what I've seen online. Am I selfish for leaving this group that yes, really genuinely benefits from okay. having Live somebody like me in there? That I I add to the group. That, yes. you know, I felt really selfish 
in my desire to leave in order to create my own community. I it felt that it, it was very selfish of me to ask that, even though other people had that without asking for it. And it was not selfish for like, it it's not selfish to want to have your own place in the world, but it felt not. selfish because I was used to not asking for anything. I was used okay. to just putting up with whatever I have. And okay. I was used to just not complaining. And she put her um, foot down. So okay. it did for a while feel cool. kind of selfish for me to, my chat just disconnected for a second. Imagine it's God being like Matara should the <laughs> okay, I felt selfish leaving. We're put it this way. Okay, I felt selfish leaving, even though now that I've gone to therapy, I don't believe it was selfish for me to want better to have a place for my community. To it's okay on. to want better. Okay, just so we're clear. Um, I it's received okay. a lot of fan letters and I want to be very clear. I am so grateful for all the fan letters that I got. Every single person who took the time out of their day to send me a fan letter, Writing you are letters incredible are big. That's and big. you are amazing. Yeah, About 80% of the fan letters were like, hi, I love your streams. I don't get to watch them much because I don't speak English, but you are so sweet. I love your model design. You are so sweet. You are so great. Thanks for your collabs with this person. Hey, mm -hmm. I watched you do this collab one time. It was very nice. You made an impact on me. Thank you. Just so mm -hmm. we are clear, That's I big. am so, so grateful for that. Big. And I am never going to take that away. I keep those letters. I will keep those letters for as long as I can, for as long as I can still read them and remember them. But those letters made me cry because mm. a lot of that kind of reinforced that idea of even though these folks are fans and they're so sweet, they don't really, they're not really my community. They're yes, a part of a community that are fans of a community that I'm a part of, yes. which is so fine and so valid, right? Like, obviously, there's there's a big Vishojo community that I'm a part of, and a lot of folks are fans of that. But for me, who really desperately wanted kind of my own space and my own place and my own, my own everything, those letters just kind of reminded me. And there was still a good 20% where it, it really came from the diehard fans, but I did feel like 80% of the letters were from just a more general fan, which again, just so we're clear, I want to okay. make sure That's this totally doesn't get fine. taken out of context as like, That's I totally don't appreciate fine. casual general fans. Fan. General That's and casual fans are fine. You know? This book and this project where every single person in this book is people that I recognize, that people that I know watch the stream nonstop, that I recognize your Momosonos, I see you in the Discord. It just really kind of reminds me that I made the right decision. And I am so happy that I, I wasn't selfish, even though I felt like it in the moment. It was not selfish of me to want to build a community that cares for me and maybe prioritizes me. And and I wasn't selfish for that. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Yes, it's a little bit selfish, but that's okay. There's legitimately nothing wrong with being selfish. It just, the extent that you take it, that's the problem. So if I have a water bottle and somebody wants some of it and I say, sure, you can have a little bit and they take a sip, but that's it. That's still selfish because I might just throw this bottle of water away and they could have drunk all of it, right? That's still selfish, but you shared a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. There's nothing wrong with it. Of course, there's always an extent to everything, but for you to leave one group, one collective, because you feel like you aren't getting what you signed up for right a community something some people that cherish you right for you it's okay to leave and then go do that somewhere else even though you were integral or or an important part of something else it's important to always prioritize yourself first uh at least that's just my personal opinion when it comes down to like your career or stuff like that yeah you should prioritize yourself when it comes to your career because only you can live your career right society and all this other stuff that's a whole different question and a whole different topic for another time even though it's really nice to be generally liked in a big fandom or i guess in my case generally tolerated in a big fandom it's not the same you know having it's a not, small it's community not the same. that really oh my god i made a having a small community that really cares for you and really loves you versus being tolerated in a large group is not at all the same it is course, not at all the same 100%. And and I really want to use the word tolerated 
genuinely. Okay. I really want to use the Even word tolerated because people, I do feel like to a broad portion you know, of the audience, right. it was just it was just until the next time I make a joke that they don't like and suddenly it's back to the back they to flip, the back bro, to they the switch. Pit. And, I, they and just to be switch. clear, if you were a yeah, fan yeah, yeah. of the core audience, I don't shame you for not being able to be more caring. I don't think you were in a space where you could have been more caring. I don't. Yeah, man, it, it goes both ways. You know, her wanting to prioritize her career is totally fine. And you wanting to prioritize only, you know, watching certain members of the group Etheria is totally fine as well. You have the right to like whoever you want. She has the right to work wherever she wants, right? Everybody has their own rights. This isn't no like give, take only one way situation man like yeah all this shit correlates 100 percent. i don't think you were in a place where you were allowed to show that you were a fan of me louder because you were gonna get beaten that down too. by the other to those people members of the fan unfortunately yeah, 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 yeah. um i do still know that you loved me and i do still know that you cared and i do know that you did but i just don't think that you were in a space that was like capable was of space. letting you exist yeah. no and also, i it's not an offended thing. I, just, I I think you and I are talking about different things. I think you are very valid in what you say, but I don't think I don't think you really are talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. I think it's uh I think we're talking about different things, my angel. And that's okay. That's okay, Sunken. Don't worry about yeah, it. Some you people can learn for as long as you need. I think started. after the one year, I made a decision that I will no longer talk about Hollywood. I still okay. feel I'm one of the members that, you know, I don't judge anybody who wants to talk about Hollywood. I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think, obviously, I'm not trying to erase Hollywood as my resume. I am very grateful for the opportunities. I'm very grateful for the coworkers. But as the one year comes, I would like to no longer speak about it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's um, legitimately just a part of your life. It's a chapter of your life that you're no longer in. If you don't want to talk about it 100%, you don't have to, man. Like, that's just, <laughs> again, that's just life, right? Some people have amazing careers doing whatever. And then five years later, they're not, they're no longer doing it. And 10 years later than that, they never ever talk about what they did 15 years ago because it's a non-factor. It doesn't matter. It's not something they really want to talk about or indulge in that history. Yeah, it's totally fine. You don't have to. Um, and because I, I, I feel like, do what you I want. feel like now I've said everything I've had to say. I, I feel like with, with this, with this right here, there is nothing more I have to say. True. There, right? there it, it is. You have physical, I tangible. Because I. You have physical, tangible evidence of people that love and support you. It's there in your hand. Dear Miss Madara Khan Von Vishojo, double D's, triple threats from Vishojo. Boom. And you have a whole letter saying thank you. Yeah, you're good, bro. You're good. You're okay. Yeah, move forward. Felt tolerated by a large forward. fandom. I felt that I was only always one raunchy joke away from getting canceled. Mm. And um, I felt really bad about leaving for a really long time. And this community right here and, and all this everything and meeting you and seeing you just kind of reminds me that I need to prioritize me. And when yes. I'm able to prioritize me, I will then be a better content creator, a yes. better co be a better person. Right? To the You'll Bishojo be a better person. Girls. When I'm happy, I'm a better coworker. I'm a ha I'm a better friend. I'm a better businesswoman. I'm a better streamer. I'm a better you you're know, a better person. Alien. So I really feel like this <laughs> helped me better, wrap yes. kind of the end 100%. of everything. Yes, I will good. most likely not talk about Hollywood again. Cool. You don't have to. Um, you know, I no longer feel that I was selfish. Okay. For leaving. I feel okay. that everybody deserves to build a community that loves them for them and not just tolerates them as being part of a bigger group. That's real, that's deep and that's impactful. And I honestly feel that, man. You know, I do reactions to a whole bunch of stuff from VTubers, philosophy, reading books on stream, right? I totally get it wanting to build something bigger, right? I totally get wanting to foster a community of like-minded individuals. At the end of the day, when it comes to humanity, one of the biggest pillars is not money, but community. When you have people that care about you, you have the same energy and you're sharing with each other life. That is way more important than money. And having that is essential to human growth. 
if you want to grow as a person, you got to have a community, regardless if it's online or not, you know, it's whatever. But having like a legitimate community around you, like if you go to the same uh, store every Friday and then the staff recognizes you and they say hey to you because they see you, you're a regular, right? Whenever you go to your favorite bar and the, and the barkeep uh, knows who you are, you're a regular. That's being part of a community. Yeah, 100%. It's something that every person, whether they know it or not, is what they're looking for. This is a great video, Madara. And thank you, Leo Chan, our Leo character. I don't know. Lao, Lao Chan, Lao character. Thank you for clipping and sharing this. I appreciate it. This is a good, good topic, good stuff to talk about. It's your boy, Kunshan. Join the Discord link down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe. Remember, community is important, but it's also important to be true to who you are. That's how you create the real community. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.